in the rain and roll factory. Would you like to introduce us, Wrath? Uh, welcome back to the LP, everybody. This is fucking JoJo Madara, and I'm Wrath, the co-host on this adventure. <laughs> Are you gargling mayonnaise? Ew! <laughs> I lost my appetite by you just saying... <laughs> no, Griffith does that. Nobody gargles me. Why? I, I, I'm ready to cut this recording short now because I'm just getting. Do you. Gar Do you hate me now? No, no, I don't hate you because I want to know why. Because what you said was the equivalent <laughs> of a woman squirt. of a wizard, of a chick squirting hot dog flavored water out of her cooch. Ah. Uh. Thank you, Arby and the Chief, and thank you, Limp Biscuit. Even though Limp Biscuit kind of sucks. No, I, I will never say that Limp Biscuit sucks because that's a that's a generous statement. Oh wow, that is awful! Wow. You get like DLCs to change, like you get to unlock. Yes. Yeah. Wow, that is yeah. so faggot. That is so fucking gay. No, I, I can't say that because that's that's like that's inflammatory to gay people because like not even gay people want to be associated with this shit. Yeah. And considering the fact that Tamim wanted to uh, make Dino gay just to piss off people, yeah, I think uh, I think it would be kind Here's of the problem, insulting. Though. All men and women want Dante, but then he opens his mouth. Yeah, original that's Dante, the joke. original Dante, everybody, original Dante. Yeah, that's the joke. Da like that's original, joke. like as a dude, as a dude, I'm going to come out and simply say it. Dante is a sexy piece of man. I am going to... I will ride his devilish cock and say that he is an amazing man. But then he opens You'd his mouth. You'd ride his sword? <laughs> You'd ride his sword? No, I would, I would only Virgil. <laughs> only Virgil. <laughs> but then he'd probably super kill me. <laughs> Why are you touching my sword like that? Uh-oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh-oh. Uh -oh. It's the claw from Inspector Gadget. I'll get you next time, Dino. Oh crap, you're here. Why did you kill my child? Again, this was would have been a decent scene if they wouldn't have inflamed him. Shat all over it. This could be a really compelling oh, scene, I'm not joking. Why did you Yeah, kill same my here. Child? But Wait, hold up, hold up, let's hear Dino had to So it was revenge. No, it was for revenge. Jack is back. I can't do it. Freedom. But wouldn't uh, that have been cool if uh, Raiden just showed up out of nowhere? Do it. The freedom to my Uh-oh, okay, hold up. I've been talking about mankind. Mankind. And what would mankind do with freedom, do you suppose? Because when I arrived, they had it. And what do you think they did with it? They fought. They killed. They stopped. I brought prosperity. I brought structure. <sighs> what have you brought? I'm sorry, I was just deep throwing the bottle like Tamim was deep throwing himself when he was writing this scene. Yeah. Like, I've heard this speech done so many times. And it could have been done so. <laughs> Looks like a. <laughs> wow! Oh, what's going on here, guys? <laughs> And then just right in super blade mode cuts him in half and then just says, I'm here to take back the world. With a metal track from Judas Priest playing while he's beating everybody up. So super tasteless dead baby joke. Complete with troll face. Uh, I can put that in there if you Good job, Tamim. I can put that in there if you want. <laughs> you could, yeah, go ahead if you <laughs> really want to. Huh? 
Are we, whoa, did the... Can I... Wow, oh. that... Oh, oh. That is great, game. I can't believe... Wow. Look at all that red. <laughs> Holy crap. Jesus Christ, d &T. It's like I'm inside your mother again. Better eat me way out. <laughs> Led <laughs> Zeppelin <laughs> away. <coughs> Is it wrong to say that I want Mundus to win here? Oh, I so want him to win. He does come off as a slightly sympathetic character compared to everybody else. Let's shut this thing down. Yeah, that's the he bad part. He actually cared about something. He might be a two-dimensional character, but at least he's got a slight bit of death. Unlike everybody who's one-dimensional here, yeah, especially Vino. Okay, how are you going to do this? Are you going to use some... I thought you were going to do something cool. Can... Now, look look at this fucking moron's face. Like, oh, uh, what the hell? What, uh, that is so stupid. Hellgate. <coughs> <coughs> Virgil? That's not a Hellgate, asshole. Oh, shit, they can see us. Run! Oh man, we're just trying to get fresh in the club. What have you done? Let's just eat everyone. Oh my god, oh, look yeah. how fast! <laughs> you That is the lamest. That is so ever. how you use a katana. Bruce Willis from Pulp Fiction used it more appropriately. I can't say anything about Beatrix. Why did they she, she knew how to use it? You okay, Dante? You took your time. Wow, Virgil, you're, you're just welcome. so fucking lame. Like, not even a cool kind of lame like the original. Can we ask? Can we ask why they had to include that whole spit part in that scene? Because I spit on your grave. Hits theaters, 1987. So edgy. Hey, 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 hey! Don't mock the 80s. Hey. The 80s were fucking awesome. Dude, the 80s can be summarized when Dragon Shiryu fought the Black Dragon Saint. No, the 80s can be summarized by playing Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. Pretty much. But you you <laughs> saw when Dragon... Oh, hey, look, it's Megatron. We, you wish. You wish it was a proper Megatron. This, this That's is That's Megatron. <laughs> Autobots. He looks like a frog I think face. He's trying, I think he's trying to rip off King Kong. He's got a gorilla face, I'll tell you that. God damn. Mundus from Devil May Cry 1 was better. Way better! He, he was, was, he was, one, he was one dimensional as fuck, but he was so entertaining to watch. Yeah, he, but he was, there was just like a bravado in his performance. Oh yeah. His scenery! Oh. No, oh, I forgot, this is a thing. They didn't even do the joke right. Don't attack him. Just stay alive if you would have said, I am a god, then the joke would have worked. It would have, it would have made... Oh my god, this this boss fight's so fucking lame. It's just, it's just the succubus, again. But with, uh, diff with uh more different cinematic. ways to the tier. With more yeah. lame-ass fuck cinematics. People... If you want to do a cinematic game, don't add a whole bunch of I love how he's throwing those it. summon swords like he thinks he's Spider-Man shooting web. I guess that's what, to me, meant that he wanted to make it more like Spider-Man, too. Ah! <laughs> hey, I love that Quicksilver power. <clears throat> I sure do love Quicksilver. Get to the eye! It's not a devil, uh, devil trigger, it's, cer it's just fucking Quicksilver. I wish the real Dante it, was here. Honestly, that was a rumor going around before this game came out. That the real Dante would show up. I would have liked it because no matter, like, my only choice for that would happen is, like, no matter what you do, you can't beat him. Another faggot. Yeah, and good luck beating him in Devil May Cry 4. Ugh. Especially on Dante Must Die mode. I really don't good care day. about what's going on. Look! 
He's showing cracks. Of course. Dante. He's showing cracks. There's see cracks that? everywhere. Yeah, I see it. Shit bag. He's still in there. Why am I talking like we need to get like in there and kill him. Zappelli, like a bridge Zappelli and a bridge Luffy? Just like a horrible Come interpretation on, of Sean go. Connery. I love the fact that <laughs> William A. Zappelli from uh, the Abridged series was an Italian speaking like an Irish man or Scottish. <laughs> Try to figure that shit out, <laughs> Jonathan. So you gotta take care of your wife. Why was he and when I mean there? take care of her, I Mondes don't mean just be a good husband. You gotta get in there. So if we kill his body, you gotta get we with the Mondes. foreplay. Like none of just sticking it in dry. No, I, I, fuck it. I'm not, I, I can't do it anymore. It's awful. <laughs> that yeah. was one of the most raunchiest yet somehow. You know what? JoJo's Bizarre Adventure: The Abridged Series is how you do raunchy jokes appropriately. Yeah. Especially with Dio. Hey, look, this guy's dead. <laughs> did you just teleport? Like, yeah, he did. He five did. feet, like ten feet. Yeah. <sighs> the Unreal Engine at work, people. You lazy sack of shit. Did they already say that if you kill, uh, if you kill his body, uh, you'll ki you kill Mundus or whatever, something like that? Yeah. Already. Oh. Yeah. God damn it, we missed the joke. Because people die when they're killed. Mm, I'm gonna give you a good treatment, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine that's how, I, I imagine that's how the new Virgil screams or squeals. <laughs> Squeal like a pig, boy. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen that movie. Ooh. Oh God, you really did? I d yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's, uh... Fuck, I forgot what it was Deliverance. Called. Yeah, there it is. Wow, he is the succubus. He is. Except you can't parry him. You have to dodge. Which is fine, but he's still ridiculously easy to actually fight. Especially if you just use the axe almost exclusively. Oh, so I gotta do I gotta jump to dodge that. Yeah. Oh, I don't know how to dodge that one. It's okay, it doesn't really take that much health off of you anyway. I like how I reset again. Okay, that's actually okay. I know what I'm doing now. Do I really though? Does it really matter? Whatever, I'll miss it. I'll miss my opportunity this time. I don't feel like risking it. Wow, I, I tried doing the angel dodge for that. Why are you? Why are you trying to do that dodge? It is the most useless dodge in this fucking game. Hey, I'm using the Devil May Cry 3 tactics I did with Vino. I mean, oh my god, I'm calling the real Virgil Vino. Wow, kill me, people. Can we get a gunshot in here, please? Thank you. Hey, can I ask why uh, there are multiple health bars for just one boss? Because, like, that's the health of one arm. And it's bullshit. You want to know what multiple health uh, health bars for one boss should be like? Agni and Rudra. Definitely. Because that's actually two bosses at once. I love how Virgil is just ruffling and tussling and not being a dumbass and not using Yamato. This makes no sense. Oh, that wasn't the Trinity Smash. If you would have done the Trinity Smash, you probably would have won there. Probably would have. 
I love how he does. I love how this is so scripted because you gotta finish this last sliver of health here. It's over. It's over. Of course, it's over. Oh man, this boss is so fucking anticlimactic. It's ridiculous. It is. It's like, there's no weight to this guy. There's like no real. Again, Mundus in Devil May Cry 1, you, you feel it. Yeah, because that amazing you... start of the fight. Holy god. As a rail shooter? That was amazing. It was amazing. I want to build up Devil Trigger. Oh. Yeah, you're supposed to get that. Wow, that was so... Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That wasn't even cool. I have the jewel. Did you just slice through my belly, Joel? Man, look at them amazing textures. No idea that they popped through uh. his back. Oh, God. Where's my water? I need to drown my sorrows. <laughs> I love how this is going out with a whimper and not with a bang. Like how it started out with my playthrough. Uh... <clears throat> so, no, um, this, no, I, I, so, there's something hold that hold I'll up. have to... So this snowy white-haired faggot was absolutely useless. Indeed. Did it freeze? No. Oh, it, it, I guess it just froze for me. God damn. Did you, you, you see it still? Yeah, I can see it now. Fuck. No, no, that doesn't happen. No, you see, you see, no, 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 th no, this kind of shonen homosexuality, like, best friend shit doesn't happen. I don't care. Okay, uh, th something's coming up that uh, we have to address. You have to pause when I say it, okay? Okay. There is something that we really have to address here. Because fuck you to meme. Oh. Uh... Uh... They look like demons. No, they look like vi they look like Alice Madness Returns enemies. No, those were awesome. Good These point. are bullshit. Hashtag demons. We have awoken. Okay, pause it right here. All right, people. Let's talk about something important. Let's forget the horrible plot, bland characters, and mediocre gameplay, and talk about this utter bullshit in front of us now. Before this scene, the game's theme centered around 70s punk anarchy. You know, the old tired tropes of the underground fighting against a governmental or corporate superpower with the mass media being used to brainwash the populace. Fight, you know, fight the power and all that hokum. It would have been fine if the game had stuck to it throughout the story. This, however, this is about modern technology and social media spreading a truth to the masses, jamming something so decidedly modern into a story half a century old only serves to make it even more dated, despite the intention to provide some sort of meaning, when it's really all about trying to look current. There are three specific things wrong with this moment. The first is that the mo modern day idea of viral information doesn't mesh well with the themes of an underground resistance that can just barely communicate to the masses. The second is the game itself barely referencing current day themes outside of the quote unquote satire of Fox News. Never referencing s social media until now and keeping everything confined to the aforementioned 70s punk anarchy. The third is perhaps the most detrimental reason as to why this doesn't work. I could have forgave the earlier two points if the writer in question handled it well. 
because there have been times where mismatched themes work because they were still able to make the scenario believable. However, this is not the case here. Allow me to explain. The world just became fused to limbo, allowing quote-unquote demons to run amok in reality. Everyone can see them, and they can and they can in turn interact violently with their human onlookers. How in the flying fuck would any human being, let alone the implied massive chunk of the world's population, stop long enough to get their get clear pictures, go on Twitter via phone or computer, and tweet about the whole thing while a stigeon is running up to the rubber necker to bisect them with their cleaver? I don't know about you, but I'm pretty damn sure that people would be running as far and as fast as they possibly could from the ugly robot symbiote thing that wants to see their organs. No one would be on their computer, and no one would be talking about this because everyone would be too busy being in a massive panic to care about social media, let alone any other technological creature comforts. And even if film or photos were taken, they'd have no time to get away. Kind of like in the second opening for Onimusha 3, where demons attack Paris. Compare this to Metal Gear Rising, where not only did they do the whole social media thing close to the end of the game as well, but were successful in making it believable, as well as have it mash well with the themes of technology's virtues and how it can run amok, which persist in the entire Metal Gear series. How did they make this believable? Armstrong staged an in incident which inc incited the idea that terrorist activity was going on in the Middle East. In the fabrication, photos of Raiden's exploit in the location, and the fact that the president was supposed to be in said location as well. Upon getting the info and images, the info was leaked to social media and, l and it let the internet take care of the rest, with people believing the lie. Everyone not and not at the location were safe and sound in their comfy homes, comfortable and clear-minded to use so, uh, their social media networks, allowing the news leak to spread like wild, wildfire. No one was in a panic, but the outrage from the citizens in America, learning their president almost died from the incident, was enough to get the controversy going, allowing the masses to believe the lie. That's how you do social media as a theme. True, it does cast, cast it in a negative light, but the series has always, up to now, portrayed both sides, the negative and positive, of technology on our daily lives, and even show social media and positive lives early in the game proper. In conclusion, We Have Awoken needs to go the fuck to sleep! Alright, Joey, continue. Yeah. Let's get this shit over with. Oh, did the game? Oh, wow! Good loading. <laughs> Much load. Great game. So wow. We have one more boss to deal with, and it's it, it. You can't even call it a boss. It's riddled with so many cutscenes in the middle of the in the middle of battle. It's bullshit. hey guys, look, I'm cool. <laughs> I'm so cool, guys. Look at my trouble S's. Look how good I am at video games. I'm going to show all of my friends who play those shitty old Devil May Cry games and keep on telling them it's not hard. <laughs> I really hope someone punches me and throws me in a trash can if I ever say that unironically. Like, I will deserve it. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. I'm, I, I'm sorry. I'm just... Uh, holy crap. I'm feeling so violently disappointed in this game. Alright then, just... <clears throat> Stop the recording right here. We're going to need lots of alcohol for the next part. Oh, so much. Alright. Everybody... We're so close, though. We're so close. <laughs> I don't like any of you people. <laughs>